we discussed about Man, uh, uh, tables, sir. Uh-huh. Tables and versions. Okay. Uh, questions related to versions and questions related to tables. But our previous class, but last class was. Yes, sir. Yesterday, after class one, the module and application. What is the difference between module and application? Uh mm huh. -hmm. So what is module? What is a module? Can someone please tell me? Uh, it is like a shortcut to access the data or record. It is a shortcut, it's a kind of uh, shortcut or interface to access your uh, table. Each module will connect to something, okay, Be, uh, from a table level. That's how we can simply define for now, but later we can see a little deeper also. Even that is also not a 100% uh, uh, definition. But simply we can say like a module is something where normally it connects to a table, backend table, and its respective data, or options, or whatever you can call it as. Okay. The simple and best example is like incident. Right. So incident, you just see all the modules under incidents will connect something to the incident table. Right. So see here, when I say all, it is getting me all the records if I get if I say open it is getting all open tickets from all okay there is some filter applied okay active equal to true right so this is how we can define a module simple okay now what we are going to see is first thing is okay uh, learning IT SM models Okay, so this is our first part, <laughs> right? So we are going to learn service node development concepts, right? So also we are going to tell like I, I am part of ITSM. I did some implementations on ITSM, right? So when you say ITSM applications, what are the ITSM applications? Okay, they are incident management, okay, problem management, change management, request management and a few few other will come okay knowledge reporting and all they are also comes under ITSM only but these are the main they will expect from us okay minimum we have to tell at least this one and then later you can uh, learn one or two sponsor one special one and then try that also okay first point is that clear my everyone Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, second point is, okay, so how I can learn it? See, developer concepts, we are learning it, but general concepts, like see, incident management, okay, so I want to know about incident as an end user. Don't, this particular learning, when I say this particular learning, it is not like a service node developer learning. It's just like overall application learning. Okay, as an end user, as a normal person, what is incident management? What are the components in the incident management? Why incident management will be used? When we use incident management, what are the associated things are there? Okay. These things, how you will know? Okay. So, as a practice, what you do is today. Okay. First, I am just starting with the practice only. Okay. I will send you one small video, it, it will be mo not more than 5 minutes, okay, I, I will search and send you, okay, just to watch it, this is, this why, why this is for is, this is to know the definition. Okay, once you know the definition, why we create instant management. Okay, what is the purpose of instant management? Okay, take a tool, any tool, okay, which which have the instant management application. Okay, ideally for our tool is service node tool. Come to here, create minimum ten incidents, or create minimum five incidents. Okay, 
this number will vary more. If you want to create 100 also, you can create 100. The more you create, the more knowledge you will get it. And, okay, update five incidents. What is the meaning of update five incidents? Create is fine. You will just come and then create and then fill the data and then submit it. This is what create. But what is update five incident? Adding some other data to the incident and updating it on the right top corner of the. So existing. Yes. Yeah. The existing incident, you can just open any few. Okay. Let's say take uh, this one. Go to open. Okay. All these are active incidents. So just open any. Okay. And then update. When you are updating, means don't just say update. Just see. Okay. It is in progress. So work in progress or on hold or uh, resolved. When you are changing it, something also changing the dependencies and see these things. Okay. When you have something called a service offering, just click it and then see what you are getting. Nothing you are getting. Okay. So observe it. That's it. You need to observe and this image, you should get it in your mind. When I say incident, you should get this image. Okay, let's see here. Here may be something like resolution notes is there. Now these two are mandatory. Okay, why? Because the state is resolved or closed. If I say in progress, see the behavior, they are none. So there is a relationship between that state value to these two fields. Why? When you are closing an incident, you have to enter some data about why, what is the resolution, what you did to close that, you fix that issue. So these things and all you just start observing. Okay, incident can be attached to a parent problem. Okay, or a parent incident, or a parent child change. Okay. So just to see this one, so take this as a practice. If you already knew incident management very well, this practice can be skipped. But if you are very new to this, okay, you have to do this one. There is a purpose of doing it. You will learn incident management. Okay. And when you are doing it, don't blindly do, just read, observe everything. Okay. Observe. Every time you hit new, you will get a new number will be created. Caller. Okay. When is a caller, who is this caller? Okay. For whom the issue got reported. Okay. Affected person. The caller, the meaning of caller is affected person. So see these kind of things. And read these kind of descriptions also. Just come here. Okay. And just click this one. Okay, where is description? This is description, right? So get the description little like this and also get the short description little like this in the middle, I mean to say middle. Okay, no need to open each record. Okay, so just get them and then see, I want to know what is this incident. I have, I have to analyze all US data in FSCA server system, but I am unable to get to see the data. So this is his issue. It's a description. And if you see a short description, this one. So now when let's say you took this, you took this particular incident, how you respond to this? Okay. Let's say I am belongs to one team. I got this incident. How I can respond? So is there any attachment he given? What error he given? See here. He's saying, huh. <coughs> But I am unable to get to see the data in West Coast. He said like this and he given the error also. Okay. So if we see this, is that related to this one to proceed? So those kind of things you start observing. I can say like my pen drive is not working or my application is not working. Okay. Every time it is giving error, my application ABC is not working. So what error? In order to solve from this group level, what error it is reporting? So they have to give proper. If they don't give it, the respective person keep it in on hold and say waiting for customer. And say here one comment they will write. Please provide more details. See here, I am doing one ticket now. So you are getting mandatory fields. So without that ticket will not be saved. See here. 
consider like this data is not provided properly okay and i am the person who is handling the ticket okay this is i am this one okay i felt like this is not correct i i can't proceed with the provided data so what i do i keep it on hold on hold okay why i kept on hold is because of caller and then when i say this one i got one field here okay please provide more details and save it okay this too you don't get it my it will come in my instance only so you are getting what i am trying to say my everyone yes no yes yes no. yeah yes so this is very important once you are 100% clear with instant management no you don't be learning 100% but at least you will get some basic idea then we will also go through change okay once tomorrow when we come connect okay when everyone say i practiced it then i will explain what is the what is instant management maybe just 10 minutes and what are the things we need to learn also from instant management okay so this is learning the instant management it is not related to service no developer concepts okay why we need is we will be doing all our service no developer concepts on these tables so tomorrow in your resume you may say okay i implemented some changes in the instant management okay when you say some changes what changes they will ask you need minimum some things so in order to explain them properly you need to know the definitions of instant management you got it ma this is just a start maybe later you can you can once you know one thing then you will also learn something else and then something else and then by before we close the call maybe we also uh, do some advanced one maybe grc okay or idea demand okay at least one so that in your resume you can say like apart from incident management i also learned uh, i also know grc i worked on grc i work i implemented demand management okay so just start like this it will help us and i will also tell maybe before we leave the classes when you say what you implemented that is very very important question okay so we need to list out something like yeah, as part of incident management i implemented this so i implemented these na these are these items so without covering these items i can't give the what you implemented make sense right now everyone is that clear yes sir yes sir yeah so please practice it for tomorrow come up with these things okay this is very important one everyone got it ma this practice for tomorrow okay you have to come up says uh, i created 10 or i created five incidents i updated five instant this is what i learned okay this is very important the final output is like what you learned that is very important not like how many you created okay right right so coming back to our class <coughs> Yeah. Any questions, ma? From anyone before I take my class? Any questions? Hmm. So what? Uh, we have started the classes with the definitions, and then we also started like the basic navigations. And first thing is we started is. Oh, uh -huh. it is unable to. So first thing we started is uh, user administration, and we seen what are, what is user, what is group, what is role, what is impersonation, okay, and what is uh, delegation. So for doing impersonation, what role we need? System admin. Admin role. Okay. Who said that admin role? Huh? The answer is admin role, na? Huh? I missed it. Sorry. To do impersonation, what role we need, ma? System administrator. That is the user name. 
but not a role. Impersonator role. Impersonator role. So generally, admins can impersonate. Also, there is a separate role called impersonator role. Okay. System space administrator is a username. That's what we log in with. User is different. Role is different. Don't confuse. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Right. Impersonator okay. role. Now, what is the difference between ITL role and uh, ITL admin role? Delete. Delete. Short answer, <laughs> but right answer. Okay. <laughs> Now, uh, the third question is maybe uh, some special person. Uh, the question is, what is that question? Give me one second, I forgot the question. How I can learn the service now version? Stats. Uh, stats. Stats. Uh, don't. Uh, okay, so the person who told the answer, that is right answer, ma. Stats. Do. Okay. So, but don't mention the extensions in answers. Do list form and all. Just say stats. Stats is a module, right now. If you hit this okay. one, it will open the same thing. I'm not saying your answer is wrong, but start, start, do. If you start uh, uh, preparing like these things now, it will not look good. Stats, you can simply say stats. Stats is also right answer. Start, start, do also right answer. Okay. Stats, that's it. Now, uh, <coughs> how much experience you have in service now? Just say some number. Well, how much you want to keep it in resume? Just say some number. Uh, in service now, I don't have any experience. Yes, but but uh, you uh, will be keeping some experience okay. and trying, now. So how much you are planning to keep it? Um, two years. Two years, okay. So okay. when you started your career, what version of service now you started with? Mm. Sorry, I am not aware of this. So you have two years of experience and you are not aware? Yes, yes. So you are not aware of what version you started with. <laughs> so you are uh, failed. I don't give a job. Okay. <coughs> that is very important question, ma. Very, very. Okay. So you need to go yes. back four versions or five versions and then get your version. San Diego, let's say San Diego. Let's say Rome, you are on Rome. Okay. Go back yes. four steps and then get your version. Maybe New York or something. M, N, O, P, Q, R. Right? So you can tell Madrid or New York. Okay. This one is covered as part of versioning. Okay, versioning questions, I covered it. Please revise it one more time. And this question is very important. It will tell you. It will tell the interviewer that you are real or fake in first question only. Okay, if you say I don't know, then no more questions. Yeah, thank you for your time, they will say. <coughs> Got it, ma? They are? Yes. Yeah, please take it. And now, uh, okay, so next question is, uh, is what is service now what kind of okay uh, um, i didn't cover that so options options fine then what is the table that uh, service now stores the data of user role this underscore user underscore role please read the question properly Okay, where the roles will store, that is the question, and answer, clear answer, please. Sys underscore, uh, I mean, uh, user has, user underscore has. No, wrong answer. Sys underscore user underscore has underscore role. The question is, where the roles information will store, roles information, only roles. Sys underscore user underscore role. In the related list. <laughs> the answer is underscore user underscore role and few people try to say sys underscore user and you has role something okay has role is has underscore role is something where it stores the data of user under role it's like a gr member table 
okay but the question is this one where the roles information will store okay ma one right is that clear yes no yes, yes sir yeah. okay yes, sir. <laughs> right so this is i think fine we are fine please revise the questions and concepts ma they are very very early small questions small topics but uh, still some gap is there okay finish it and don't keep it any pending now today what we do is we create okay application this is our first important bigger part okay application and module there are few concepts will come simultaneously one by one okay but we can start with this one and all the things will be covered automatically right so application and module so first of all i want to create a new application here not like uh, existing application maybe my customer asked to create a new application for their uh, for their activities okay so now which application first of all which application what is the requirement okay that one see here you if you say you have three years to five years experience okay you don't be involving in designing okay there are some activities okay so maybe i can say uh, our project activities this is also very important one project activities okay this might be 100 percent not correct but maximum it would be correct so customer will be there means our our client for whom we work okay and our team will be there right which is our team service no platform support team something or service no development team something okay this point is clear my everyone till this point yes no yes sir. Hmm. Mm -hmm. right so when we have yes. yeah when we have this one okay how our developers five developers ten developers will get the work okay so between us between team between customer we also will be having some more senior people they will be called as ba people business analysts okay analyst analyst or maybe architect right so what a business analyst or architect will do is okay they will be interacting with customer the more they will discuss with customer they will be in touch with customer architect is our platform architect only but his role is defining the stories defining the work for us getting the work from customers analyzing them okay and then uh, maybe if, if it is a new implementation they have to show some kind of demo to them and then make them agree and then okay uh, keep that work in a agile format means small small pieces and then <coughs> give to them give to us this is what architect will do normally okay he manages our platform and also he he takes care of our platform with respect to the work ba is something like a non kind of i can't say non-technical they should be technical but unfortunately all our bas are only speaking persons okay if you if you get a right ba you are lucky if you if you get a wrong ba then they only speak they get some work they will create a story they will throw to you and if you ask any question they will say blah 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 okay because they are non-technical they will just throw but they will still survive because of their communication skills okay so this is how okay a, a, a layer between you and customer will be there customer need work you do development work but how you get it with this layer is that clear these people will get the work and create the work in the form of okay story story is a ticket but where we develop the ticket we it's a development ticket till this point clear ma okay yes so these people will get the work 
Okay, and the work will be divided into kind of story. Story is a kind of ticket, similar. Okay, give me one second. Yeah, these people will get the work and they will create stories. First time we are hearing something called story. What is a story? Story is also a kind of ticket. Okay, so in, in our service now, there is an application called Agile. Maybe I installed it. I think I installed 2.0. <coughs> okay. There you have something called stories. And story is something like some development work. What is story? What are the components of story? Okay. What are the important portions in the story? Okay. These and all I will cover later. Okay. But story is a kind of ticket where it will be assigned to your group, your name. Then you will be start developing it. Is that clear, ma? The simple definition? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Okay. So here, when we say story, yes. okay, we will be having some window. Okay, maybe two weeks window. We will call it as release or sprint, whatever you call it as. Okay, two weeks. That means 14 days. Okay, so per suppose we say we have five people in the team. Okay. Five people, the person architect or a team lead or a delivery manager of the team, okay, they will check five people how many they can do development. Okay, the customer given this much of work, a big a project of three months scope project. Okay, there and this three months project is divided into maybe uh, maybe some 45 stories. Okay. So the 45 stories, this person architect will design, they will make it pieces and then they will align in the stories and the stories will be divided, <coughs> okay, divided to these releases, means this release we will do first to 10, okay, first to 10 stories and this next release we will do next to 10. So they will divide the work like this and then they will uh, move the work to the releases. They will assign the respective story, the respective release also. Okay, also assigned to developer. This is how the assignment also works. <coughs> Clear? Yes, no? It is a high level. Yes, yes sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a little high level, but low level we will discuss later. But this is not our point actually. So now, when let's say five people, now I am one of them. I am talking about my stories. So I got for this release, okay, I got three stories. I am a developer, I got three stories. Okay, what is my responsibilities here is, okay, the architect will design the story and give to you. So this is the story, okay, there is a catalog item you need to modify with a new approval, something like this. Okay, I take the story with my name, from, if I take it, what is my responsibilities is, like we need to follow the agile methodology here. Okay, so when you say agile methodology, that means you follow some structure. Okay, so development, maybe before development, analyze. Okay, analyze and all, here you will get it. Okay, uh, analyzing, designing and all, but I am skipping them, are analyze and design, just say like this. Okay, what is, what you do as part of this step? Okay, architect given you story. Okay, then you also analyze it. Okay, if you are not clear with this one, so, uh, uh, he he given this one. I don't know what is cat item. It is catalog item. So I will ask him what is cat item. He will change it. Okay. And second level approval, he said okay to the manager. Uh, catalog item owner <coughs> manager should be and second level approval. So whoever the owner is, okay, his manager should be second level approval. Okay. So maybe this is the meaning. I didn't get that. So I will ask him, what is this? Okay. So what is the purpose is, before I start my development work, I have to be com completely know about this requirement. 100% I should know. Is that clear, ma? Why I told you yes. should know 100%? Yes, sir. Any, why, we, why we are giving a statement that we should know 100%? If we don't know 100%, we can't proceed with the development work. Right? Agree? 
Yes. Okay. Yes. Sir. Now, once you are aware of it, you start with the development concept. So, development, develop. Okay. So here we create some update sets. We do we do all our developer skills here and we fulfill it. Okay. Based on the requirement, based on the story description, story technical design and all. So development is completed. Then once the development is completed, <coughs> what is the next phase? Testing. Okay. We will be having three instances. Testing. Yeah. We will be having three instances. We did we covered them, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Man. Okay. So you will be having your you you will be completing your development here. So in this instance, you will be completing it. This is where your development work will be done. And there is one more instance called test instance. Test arc, you may, they can call it as. Okay. Whatever you developed here, you move those changes, okay, to test instance. How you move it, where you capture it, that is again our separate concept, update sets. Okay. I'll cover that. So, we move it. Now, this phase, once you move it, this phase should be covered. Who will test it? Okay. So, here, one of our team member, okay, we will be having a dedicated tester or maybe he is a developer come tester or we will do rotational. Okay. Each release, one tester will be there. He is also a developer. Okay. Either way, you balance your team, but one internal tester will be there where they need to test it. It will be called as internal testing or QA. Okay. So, it is our testing first. Let's say testing is completed from our side. Then, okay, we will be doing one more thing called UAT. What is UAT? User acceptance testing. Okay, what does it mean? Client will test that, sir. That is two type alpha. Right. So, UAT means user acceptance. In UAT... Huh. Yes, ma'am. Please finish it. Okay. So, user access. I mean, yeah, yeah. Please take it. Yes. Please finish it, ma'am. Okay. In UAT, there are two types of testing. One is alpha, one is beta. Oh, okay. First time I'm hearing alpha and beta, right? Yes. What are, is a testing yes what is the, it could be testing by a client and the client can accept it alpha. what is the meaning of alpha yes ma'am please tell me alpha will do in-house team testing sir in-house team testing okay uh, uh, alpha testing will do uh, in-house team in-house team means is not a and the beta from end user oh okay they name it like this okay fine so see here. Yeah, it's not a customer in-house team. So in-house means our team only, na? Can we say in-house means our team only? Sir. Yes, na? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Ah, so can we call yes, alpha sir. testing as our internal testing, this one? In-house means some other team. Okay. In-house means some other team, not our team. Yes, sir. Internal team. Okay. I, this one I don't know, but uh, maybe... We can skip these types of UAT, but let's say customer testing, client testing, whoever submitted the ticket, okay, maybe they need to confirm it it's because it is their work, no? they have to approve it. So they will do testing here and they will give sign off, UAT sign off. Means the work that they developed is uh, fine. This is what I expected. Okay. So, they will do here sign off and this is what we need it from him. Once it is signed off, okay, if you have any documentation and all as part of your standards, maybe you will do it. After you finish all of them, then final thing is production release, this one. So, move to production. Okay, typically these are the steps we follow. If you see definitions of Agile and all, you may see different wordings, but same, meaning is same. 
Is that clear, my everyone? Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Yes. So here is knowing your work from admin. Here, knowing. What? No, no. Can you please uh, repeat the question, ma? Sir, here is knowing your work from admin. What is the role of admin here? Uh huh. What does the meaning of admin? What is the role of admin? Okay. What when you say admin, who is admin? You, we are these these five people are not admins, sir. Huh? Yes. So they developed it, right? Without admin role, how we develop? Role admin is the role. It's one of the system role, user role. It's not like a uh, job profile. You got it, eh? Oh, yes. Don't confuse. Job profile administrator is different. Okay, admin is the role that we use to develop the things. And here, all these five people should have admin role so that they can do development work. Oops. Okay. When you Oops. when you say job profiles, that would be a different thing. Administrator. Okay. Uh, architect. Okay, BA, maybe developer, okay, maybe implementer, consultant. Okay, this is different. Maybe if you if you are collect you are uh, uh, mentioning this administrator, maybe he also having admin role, but he will not be developing. Maybe he will do some other non-technical job. That's what I think you are assuming it, but it is not correct. Mm -hmm. Admins also develop more customizations, more development they do. So that is the reason we from first day onwards, I didn't divide anything. Everything is service now. Even if it is administrator, developer, implementer, architect, BA, we need the primary skills and the primary skills are our syllabus. Is that clear, ma? Yes, sir. Don't... Uh, take this way every time you take this way you will get confused so avoid this one developer means it's a role developer role and it is required to do development job that's it <coughs> right any questions it's a good question ma thanks any questions uh, sir here one question Sabdam. Uh, sir we have around for release we have around three stories right uh, for one developer uh, for one developer we have around three stories hmm. Uh, sir, for each story, they uh, develop and it move to it's product it's or else... Each uh, story, ma, each story. If I complete one story, I will move to test immediately. That's it. No dependency. Immediately test and immediately to prod. No, no, not immediate prod. Okay, that is one uh -huh. important. So, two, when you say two weeks of time, last yes, day is the release day. 14th uh, day. In the second week of the Friday. Uh, yeah, so Friday, uh -huh. second week of Friday or it's seven, yeah, that day, mm -hmm. we will move all of them to production. During the time, we will okay. be finishing all these phases, development phases, agile phases. Yes, After our development, we have to uh, we test it and keep it aside. Ah oh, yes. Sir, uh, where the scrum master involved in the agile method? Sir? Scrum master is here. here. Be only the uh, scrum master. Yeah, our scrum master will also come here, where he will develop the story, he will assign the story, he will design the story, the story points. Yeah. And he will monitor the stories like daily one stand up meeting will be there where the scrum mm. master or architect or team lead or okay delivery manager mm. will connect and then they will revise okay what is the story what you did what you are going to do is there anything you need from us that's it three questions and that is called okay, stand up sir. meeting it will be there every day first first 30 minutes first 20 minutes first half an hour something oh, for a release for every for day, day. For every day, we have stand-up call. Stand uh, for uh, these three stories, uh, assigned to us on the first day of the yes. scrum before, call, or else... Before first day only, they have to... The scrum master will uh, assign the stories before this release start. Means, previous release day mm -hmm. only, they will start. Okay. Okay, all, we can't give 100% statements, more because... Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say, in the middle also, in the, middle, in the release middle also, we will assign stories. 
Okay. Okay. Even I am dev. I am delivery manager. I assign my stories now. So I assign sometimes like next week, first Monday also I will assign. But okay. I will check with my developers. Okay. Can we able uh, to do or not? Because it should not impact our timelines. Yes. If I we, if we can't able to do it, maybe I will assign the story to next release. No hurry. Hmm. You got it, ah? Huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. Very good question. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Very good. So, uh, this agile methodology is clear, ma. This is how we do development work, and this is how our roles and responsibilities are. Okay. When we say in our resume, first question they will ask you like, you are a developer, three years of experience. What is your roles and responsibilities? Okay. So you will be handling these stories as you are a developer, and you will be covering all these pages and what application you are supporting. Okay. And what you do. that's what you need to cover as part of roles and responsibilities and this helps you okay if you are 3 uh, years of experience then you can add more things so i will also do internal testing i will also do development 70% of my job is development 30% i will also do uh, internal testing i i also engage with customers to get it done the uat i will provide support okay, if they get stuck access things and all and i will also move the things to production and here i will be creating some documentation so you need to tune your mind like you are a developer of five people and you are getting continuously you are getting this work you are doing this work it is not one day job three years job so you are completely occupied so you should speak the way same how you get these things clear ma this is your half portion of roles and responsibilities yeah question no questions okay so see uh right where we started where we are now is also one thing i need to notice okay so here we are creating an application and a module okay and then Uh, what we need what is an application what is a module an application or a modules are just shortcuts to the backend tables right so in order to create it first of all we need some requirement so why we kept all these things is like requirements okay client will give requirement and we will be do doing all these phases so we need a requirement here for what we need we are creating application okay once we have that then we will discuss and then we can start creating a table okay because application and a module is nothing but a back end table it's a connector right so we need to create tables and columns and their definitions okay so once we create it then we can create an application we link that application to this table what is what is the meaning of link is see here Uh, maybe i can show you the technical way see here i am in incident page okay all open okay assign to me three things i am clicking okay also i am clicking this pencil bar okay pencil edit so assign to me i clicked pencil right and here assign to me is this one okay so what is this module is configured is how it is configured is okay the name okay under which menu under this menu okay and here link type if you see link type okay here you are telling the system that get the records from this table okay incidents will be stored in incident table okay and apply these two filters what does it mean is see here okay you come here all the records then apply a filter filter means some condition okay active equal to true so among 92 records okay how many active true records are there active true active false indicates whether the incident is active or it's already closed or completed right so active true means it will be giving us 58 92 58 remaining people are remaining tickets are closed already 
okay and then there is more one more filter where it is giving you like tickets assigned to you okay there is something called assigned to and it is your name system administrator okay let's say let's say like this maybe can i change it will it allow it should not allow because i am not part of this group yeah okay so but if i change system administrator it should show this ticket under my name okay but that filter also assigned to is dynamic something yeah so this this filter these two filters i am running i am applying on that particular thing and i am getting zero results because there is no incident is assigned to my name okay the same thing you configured for this module so whenever you are clicking this assign to me okay it is applying these two filters from this incident table and then showing the results like this so see here i am opening one more time okay assign to me right so click it so it is getting the details first from incident table all the records then it is also applying two more filters and showing the final results to us okay ma is that clear first point yes sir yes everyone please acknowledge yes sir yeah now second thing is yeah fine now second thing is uh, i think we seen open na uh, uh, this is all okay all is all only nothing but if you see open okay so open is the one one more na no? this one so if you see how it is configured na no? same thing okay hmm. how it come where is the table link type is active equal to how the system knows it from table okay nothing but uh, maybe i will see later so here arguments active equal to they passed it okay it should be link type list of records and then table name and then something but they kept like this right so here when you say active equal to this is a filter they are passing in a different way not in a condition builder way so here this filter is applying okay so this is what we need as a final output our application few modules but the application is connecting to a table and the table have so many columns like these options okay so this is our first thing we need to do and then once you are done with the basic structure back end structure then you create a, create an application and modules okay ma this is what this is what our agenda for from tomorrow clear yes no yes sir yes Thanks. yes others everyone clear ma yes yeah. so see here yes. what i want is okay we need one application yes sir okay ma <laughs> okay so what we want is we want the requirements so we want requirements from each one of you consider like you all are customers our clients okay please come up with your various ideas so you want one application for your restaurant uh, work restaurant uh, transactions you want one application for your school you want your one application for your something 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 so get as many requirements as possible so as many ideas as possible each one should get one requirement okay why this one is required is you will start thinking like a customer first thing okay and when you say i want restaurant business we don't end up there i will be asking you okay for restaurant business if i ask if i say create new what field you want to capture you need to also define like each field and the definition of field okay customer name okay parcel or maybe something order type order items something address delivery address if it is uh, delivery based okay uh, expected delivery time those things and all basic example so when you say this kind of thing you need to also give the uh, the definitions of each field okay so this is what you need to come up as a practice tomorrow you need to analyze and come up this is your second practice 
Is that clear, ma? Yes. And it really helps us because there is something called requirement gathering. Okay. When you are dealing with customers, when they are giving one line sentence as a requirement, how you take it into pieces to fulfill your full, uh, complete story or complete requirement. Okay. This part is also very important for us. Okay. If you want to go through it in our YouTube channel, there is one video. Maybe I can link that. Okay. Only to discuss about requirement gathering. Okay. It, it covered as part of world class. So there also we almost uh, covered some six, seven items and then picked one item. If you want some samples, then just revise that. Okay. The main plot you need to see there is like how the customer is giving you one line idea and how you as a senior resource are getting more things from from that one line okay you will be somewhere thinking like this not a developer but you will your mind is here when you are asking more questions to the customer for more details okay ma so this is one kind of exercise where it it will uh, give some little maturity with respect to requirement gathering and our work and all okay so please come up with more ideas each one should minimum give one idea and you should not say sir i don't know sir i don't know i didn't i'm not getting any idea okay and we should not repeat the ideas between you so if one guy given some restaurant others should not give so come up with two ideas so keep one spare you got it Yes, no, maybe I can show you one. Yeah, yeah. Got it. No, I didn't. You didn't get it. So, we. No. Okay, what part you didn't get it? Maybe complete or. The, the project activities? What do you mean about project activities? Project activities. This, no. This is what I am asking to come up with. This one, you got it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I am. That's what I am trying to say. Like, why I am asking is like uh, we will be discussing more so that your our brains will think like when a customer gives one line sentence, how we need to take more, 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 more requirements from one line sentence. So we will be thinking tomorrow like this. <clears throat> if one customer gives one requirement, so then we will be asking more questions to get more details. This is what the point is clear. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So I will attach one uh, YouTube video also just to go through it for a reference. Okay. There also we did the same exercise. But once we are finalized one idea, then we can start creating table and columns. Okay. First off we will discuss and next off maybe we will at least start with the table creation. And that will be tomorrow class. Fine everyone? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, fine. So, give me one second. So, yeah, see here, this is what the last class thing. So, a uh, few people, one came as a restaurant one and second came as a food delivery. Second one, third one is like something uh, automobile car service, construction. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I think those are the things, but uh, give me one more second. This is 14, 15, I think 15 is good. 15, we developed one new application for, uh, yeah, here. So here transportation application, okay, and uh, employees, stack employees. So this is like a consulting kind of or employee related work. And the third one is a software company, e-commerce e company, consulting. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> some fashion designer came, so she wants to capture her work. Okay, and uh, something uh, oil bio, it is a big, big requirement, so we didn't implement because it needs more tables. Okay, and then this one we took it. Okay, application to support fertilizers to farmers. So, farmer will come and they will raise some request we will be kind of customer support kind of where farmer can ask anything and we will be getting back the details and respective things so for that 
we created farmer table farmer application we felt like farmer is a good cause also so here farmer query application they will come up and say like this so what who is the farmer what he wants okay and along with him any additional farmers are there okay and uh, when he is expecting the answer when we given the answer something 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 okay ma is that clear <coughs> and few people zomato also yes. they given something same so come up with more ideas okay we will pick one nice idea and then start developing it it is only for discussion don't fight okay my idea is good char is showing some partiality that <laughs> that and all will not be there but just to discuss more and more right okay so i am ending the class any questions maybe you can please raise sir is there any difference between incident and story sir i want to incident discuss. okay <laughs> incident oh. and story your pen drive is not working okay yes sir it's an incident that is incident you want a new application yes, okay for uh, android you want to develop a new application okay you have an idea and you have the budget okay. and you have a development mm -hmm. team so you give the idea to them and uh, they will develop an application to you so there they will create a story okay okay ma both mm -hmm. are records only but the meaning is different okay very good anything else good question no more questions sir what is the uh, sir what is the difference in the build and release sir what is exactly that meaning build and release sir. build i never heard ma release is i will explain ma these and all will maybe comes in agile uh, later we will explain ma when we see about story na no? story like yes yes sir yes sir and, uh, okay fine sir i never seen something called build but i will i will check okay fine sir can come back yeah. good any questions sir, sir can you please open notepad yes sir yes. i have opened please here ha this below sir below yeah this agile uh, this sir agile agile method analysis development testing these are the development life cycles yes, sir this close to development life cycle yeah we can say this is also stlc software development life cycle with agile methodology okay yeah. so we are not 100% covered there would be one or two steps less or more but to make you all understand in a easy way i cover this way the name is also will be different okay if you see stlc steps now maybe you see different namings but the activities that we do is same got it ma Oh yes sir. Yeah. Good. Yes sir. Right. Shall we end?